Hey guys, what I really want to talk to you guys about today is a topic that I enjoy talking about like many of my other topics. And I like saying that line because I enjoy talking about everything that I talk about. But having good conversation with women or a great conversation with women has just a few things that I think you need to keep in mind. When you're going out there and you're speaking to women, one of the things that's probably blocking you up and stopping you from having a good conversation is just the fact that you are not enjoying your time with a woman. When you enjoy your time talking to the woman, the conversation flows better. You become more relaxed. The woman really wants to know what are you all about, as you want to know that. You're not blocked up in your mind about, okay, what should I say next? Okay, how's this one perceiving me? What is going on between us that, be, that can become better? You don't have to have all these things take you out of the moment. So what I want you to do is that I want you to enjoy your time with the woman. You got to start enjoying your time. When I see students and they're talking to women and they're constantly worried about, okay, am I going to get this right? Are the coaches listening to me? Oh, I feel all the pressure of holding a cold conversation. None of this is really him. None of this is him. But what's really him is being able to meet the woman that's in front of him. What's really him is being able to be there, see what she's all about, love that, and continue that process with every woman that he talks to. That's what he wants. He wants to be able to go out there, meet women, enjoy his time with them, and not have to think of all the pressures that come with that. And of course, all the conditioning arises as you walk up to a woman because it's a new situation. But if you really want to know how your, all your conversations start to become enjoyable, all your conversations start to become magical, begin to enjoy yourself as you're there with the girl. Enjoy what you say. Enjoy the time you're spending there with her. This means don't be in a rush to get to the next topic. Don't be in a rush to get through and get the number. Because a lot of this is just a manifestation of your fears. A lot of it is just a manifestation of you not knowing what to do. And most of what you need to do is shut up at the times when you need to. Express yourself at the times that you want to. Because this builds the relationship between you two both investing into something and having the experience together. It becomes a together experience when you're there with the girl. Never forget that. It's never you trying to seduce her. It is you guys seducing each other. It is a together experience. It is, okay, this is a man meeting a woman, but this is also a woman meeting a man. Both of these people have fears, insecurities, things they're confident about, things they can share, and they're coming together to see how can we fit in each other's life. What do we have to offer each other? Because as much as sometimes you're nervous and not knowing what to say, <clears throat> the woman is in that place as well. So never think that you're all fucked up and the woman is all good. The first thing I want you to do is to go out there and enjoy your time with women. Enjoy what you guys are doing. Enjoy the experience of going out there and meeting a woman that you don't know. Because that's what the experience is about. Being able to meet somebody you don't know and allow that to blossom into something that's very different and very unique. The other way that I want you to start enjoying a conversation or to start to have a conversation that's beautiful and enticing and very, very stimulating is ask questions that you really want to ask. Many of the times, I want you to lock in on this, many of the times when you are talking to a woman, are you asking questions that you really want to ask? Ask yourself that right now. When I'm there talking to a woman, am I asking her questions that really get to know her? Or am I just going through a series of questions that I know that they said that you should ask to get to know a woman? Am I really building an emotional connection? Am I really there seeing what she's like? Am I really in tune with what this woman is giving me? Am I being responsive? Am I being somebody that's saying, okay, right now this is the moment where she's not so open, so, but I can ask a question that's lighter. Right now she's incredibly open, so I can ask a question that's deeper. 
ask questions that you really want to ask. Being responsive to a woman, but also asking the questions that you really want to ask. Asking her, does she have a good imagination? If that's really what you want to ask. Asking her, what is one thing that you love right now in your life? If you really want to ask that. Asking her, if you could do one thing today that you're not doing, what would you do? What makes you happy that other people might say is a bit stupid or, or random? What are the small things that give you joy? Ask what you want to know about the woman. That is stem from what? A genuine curiosity about who she is. And having that genuine curiosity, I have to say genuine, genuine curiosity about her, that's where everything flows from. Everything flows from the intention of, I want to know this woman. I'm so curious about her and so interested in her that I'll ask the question that arises in me when it does. And asking the question, you might go, okay, maybe this question is stupid to ask. Maybe it's stupid to ask a woman, what does she love to do when nobody's around? Maybe it's stupid to ask a woman, you know, what are you more stimulated by? Nature or going out and partying? Really ask those things that you want to know. Because in that asking the things you really want to know, that's how the woman will open up to you. Many times, she won't open up to you if you're just asking a simple, boring question like, what is your passion? Because uh, a lot of times when guys ask this, they ask this because they go, you know what? I have to build an emotional connection. So that means I have to ask questions that have to do with the deepest, most deepest emotion, which is like passion and love and, 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 and being able to, you know, see what, you know, what is the thing that, you know, really gives her joy in life. That's good and everything. But is that actually from your heart? Is that something that you really want to ask her? Because if it's something you really want to ask her, then ask it. But if it's not, then don't do it. Because if you do it, it won't be in alignment with you. It won't come across clear. The woman will be like, oh, well, um, and she'll be weirded out by the question. But if it's really in alignment with you, she'll feel it. And she may even go, this is a weird question. And then she'll just sit with it for a moment. And then she'll tell you something. But if you never, ever, ever ask questions that align with what it is that you really want to ask, you'll never, ever get a woman to open up to you the way you want. So ask questions you really want to ask. And I would say a third thing that, that really makes a difference is actively listening to what the woman is telling you. Being able to see the energy shifts in what she's saying. If you're talking about a topic and you see that the woman energy is leaving, she is becoming bored, she's not being engaged anymore, many of the times it's because you're not asking something you want to ask, but she cannot just be ready for that. There's certain girls that I walked up to and I started talking about some emotional too quickly, they would be they would become closed off. And that same girl who become closed off, if I started with light conversation because I can see that the subtle shifts in her energy is she doesn't want to get into anything deep. So I bring it back and I talk about things that are lighter and then later I talk about things that are heavier then I see that, okay, she actually just is taking more time to open so I need to start where she's at. Where she's at. Become very focused and locked in, okay, where is this woman? Where is this woman? How is she responding to me right now? Is she becoming more engaged or less engaged based on the question I'm giving her? Is she wanting to talk about something that's deep emotional or she's closing up? When you're doing this, she'll, you'll be able to, okay, this is a time where I need to pull back. This is a time where I need to go deeper because this woman is actually giving me more than I thought. She's actually more into talking about more things that are really deep to her heart so I can go in that deep direction. Okay, right now, this woman is really talking about things that are light and she wants to have fun and be playful so I can go in that range as well. So I need to talk about topics that are very deep. I can talk about topics that are light. Light topics like what does she like to do? Uh, what does she just normally like to do? What's her favorite music? What does she like to watch? What does she like to listen to? What are her favorite places to visit? They're light topics. Deep topics are like, what does 
what is what is some in your life that you're really proud of? What do you appreciate most about yourself? If your friend could say a few things about you that would uh, give you the best explanation, that would give me the best explanation of who you are, what would she say? What means most to you? What gives you the deepest inspiration in life? Deep and light. Being able to see where the girl is at, falling into that place where she is, and then moving toward deep. Whether she's deep, you go deeper. Because if you know she's already deep, you can go deeper. If she's light, you know you can move from light going deep. And it doesn't mean like, okay, if I'm light and she doesn't go deep, it doesn't mean there's no emotional connection. It just means that on the light level, you're able to have a connection. But of course, for her to be really, really enthusiastic and, and, and wanting to see you for real again, you're going to have to learn how to be light and move it towards deep. And a lot of guys are wondering why women are not seeing them. Many of the times it's because of your lack of genuine interest when you meet them. If you're going to talk about what she likes to do as far as normally, then really be into it. If you're going to talk about what she likes to listen to, really be into that. Really be into the woman. Be into her fully. Don't be half there thinking about, okay, this is a time where you know I need to ask this question. I know I need to go a little bit deeper this way. And if I go deeper this way, then I know that means that I'm building an emotional connection. Are you really building an emotional connection? Really look at it. And this is, this is where you have to look at yourself honestly and go, am I actually building an emotional connection? Or am I trying to just do something that I've learned? Because when you're just trying to always do something that you learn and you're just always using lines that you've heard people say that is not genuine to yourself, you can't, have a conne- you can't have a connection. You're using the lines of someone else. It's not the one we're asking a woman, what does she love to do? Because many guys have asked that, and I've asked that as well. But if you're asking that because that's what you really feel, then that's when it's gonna be the most powerful. I'll talk about a genuine interest in another video called uh, Women Want You To Know This. I think that's the name of it. And it's important for you guys to go uh, into that video in my archives, go to that video and, and look at it. Because I talk more about being genuinely interested in a woman. And this is the key to having great conversation. You have to be genuinely interested and see where she's at. Be responsive to her to see if she is light level, deep level, and meet her there. If you can meet her there, watch how your conversations change. So to recap all of the points I've talked about in this video, number one, I want you guys to start enjoying your time when you're with a woman. Start enjoying yourself as you're with her. Enjoy the actual conversation and stop trying to get to the end. Enjoy it. Have fun with it. Really sink into it and enjoy it. The second thing is ask questions that you really want to ask. If you can ask questions you really want to ask, which means it comes from genuine, genuine curiosity, genuine interest, then the woman will naturally start to open to you because she can feel the energy of this man is really into me. Women are very energy, energy sensitive. And if they can feel the energy coming off of you of, of, okay, this man is really trying to get to know me, for her to not open, that will be kind of weird because it wouldn't go with the situation that's happening because she wants to meet you as well. But she just wants to know, are you here just to fuck her or to meet her and then fuck her? And the third thing is actively listen. Listen to the woman. Listen to her. Notice the energy shifts in what she's saying. When you're talking about deep stuff, does she open more? When, you, when, she, when you're talking about deep stuff, or does she close down? When you're talking about light stuff, does she want to go deeper or does she want to stay light? But do know that the natural uh, sequence of being with a woman and going deep is a lot of times starting light and then going deeper. That's the natural sequence and you just want to see where is the girl at and can I meet her there and when meeting her there, try to move to deep if she's ready for that. If not, you can move to deep when you're on a date or when you're on an instant date. This is sort of solo from the natural lifestyles and I'm in this beautiful place now. I found this place uh, a few months ago and now I finally did a video here. I want you guys to subscribe below to Essence of Solo and I've decided to put out one video a day uh, for six days in the week. So basically Monday through Saturday I'll put out a video a day and I'm on a grind now. I've just took it up my grind level and I want you guys to 
tune in to the things that I'll be giving you because the more and more that I'm becoming deeper into the journey, the more I'm gonna give you guys everything that I'm learning and the quicker ways for you to be able to do this. I love you guys. I'm out.